Hello, my friends. Hello, hello, hello. So tonight we will be talking about the... Oh, by the way, this is Miss B with Be More Bouillant. And we are turning dreams into destinations. One face, one body, one hard time at a time. So on tonight's episode, the product of the day is... The Mint Bliss Energizing Lotion for Feet and Legs. So that is the product we'll be talking about tonight. And the customer that this is made for or designed for is the customer who is usually on the go and they have tired feet and legs. So if you're really busy running here and running there, this mint will go through and it helps you to relax it's really like a it's really tingly like if you've ever tried a cigarette and it has that tingle on your tongue it's like doing that for your legs and your feet and could you just imagine that your feet are tingling with like mint that is so refreshing okay i'm mesmerized just thinking about how this feels i have tried this product it's really good also for those who are in my health and fitness group at the end of a good workout and you feel kind of sore around your knees or any shoulders for people that are doing weightlifting this foot and leg cream will really help you it's like a it's like an icy hot patch that's what it's like so what this product does is, like I said, it helps to create a cooling sensation um, for feet and legs and help it get revived. But the key ingredients of this mint filling, the key ingredients of the mint bliss energizing lotion for feet and legs are rosemary, willow, rutella extract, and glycerin. So let's talk about these key ingredients. So the rosemary leaf extract has antioxidant in there and what the antioxidant is known for is known as a free radical scavenger and the ingredients included in the product help the skin from the effects of free radicals generating from the environment so free radicals in the environment would be like the dust or the germs or anything of that nature any free radicals when we step outside without protection, without a full skincare system, without a moisturizer, without a um, light tinted moisturizer or foundation, foundation is a really good protective coat, but some people have really nice skin already and they don't need that. So we really need to make sure that we protect our skin. It's just like when we go outside, we put clothes on our body. So let's make sure to protect our face because as I always say, the face is the first thing that people see when they look at you. I mean, like, yes, I'll just keep it there. So the rosemary extract, like I said, it helps with the antioxidant, helps with the free radicals. The bark extract, is a toning agent so what that does is it provides mild astringent so the astringent tool is one of the main ingredients of the foot and leg cream i really like oh we live <laughs> i really like this greenish color like it's really cute it just makes me feel feminine it makes me feel natural and fresh and when i think of men i definitely think of the color green when I think of green, I think of growth, I think of relaxation. So I really like the packaging of this beautiful product. So the bark extract, the Batella bark, because we have Salix bark extract, which is the toning agent with the mild astringency. And then we have the Batella bark extract. So the Batella bark extract is the conditioner. So as we are getting the astringent thing going on as we are removing the free radicals with the antioxidants the Botella extract conditioner improves the appearance of the skin so not only are we relaxing the skin not only are we rejuvenating the skin with the mint filling we are conditioning as well 
So the glycerin is the moisturizer part. So now we are conditioning, we are moisturizing. So the conditioner improves the appearance of the skin and it helps the skin to look soft and, and smoother. So we don't want to just hydrate, but we also want to make sure that our appearance is much better. And along with the appearance, this particular product, it actually, you can feel this lotion. So it's not that you'll only have soft skin, but you can actually feel it. So it's kind of like a treat for yourself that you can do for yourself at home. So again, we have the key extracts are being rosemary leaf extract, Salix bark extract, Batula bark extract, and we have glycerin, which does the moisturization. So the order of this application is after you cleanse, after you cleanse, exfoliate, freshen, and supplement. If you have the supplement would be something like a vitamin C square or extra molium night cream like we did last night. So this will go on after that. And it will go on before your protective finish. So if you have a formula that would have night cream or something like that, this product will go before that. But of course, we're not putting like night cream on our feet and legs. The point is, once we are freshly showered and the skin is cleansed, the best way to put it on is right after your shower, people. Because right after your shower, your pores are already open. And then when your pores are already open and you put this mint on top of it, it is love. I mean, I'm smiling just thinking about how refreshing it feels. So this is also something that you would put on. Um, if you're going to do anything like sunscreen or sunblock, we actually have a suntan lotion as well that within a week you will look tan. So if anybody wants any information about that, please let me know in the comments. If you like this video, let me know and I'll make more videos about this. But as always, I always like to leave you guys with something for your life. So, how can you put some mint into your life? <laughs> how do you spice yourself up? So, you could try a new fragrance, add something to your skincare routine. You know, deciding to finally work on a specified area like dry patches that you haven't had time to focus on. Finally, you can work on the specified area. Maybe you have an oily spot in your face that you've been working on. Like for me, when I was working on my specified area, it was right here. And I started using products that had retinol in it. And I can tell a significant difference in my smile area. Although today, I have been smiling for very much of the day. So, this is me 12 hours after. Yeah, it's been been at least 12 hours after putting on my face for today so this is what I look like um so you can put me into your life by finally taking care of a specified area so what this does it makes you feel good when you are specifically toning an area or targeting an area for example when I specifically add lifting to my routine and I know that I'm taking an extra step and I'm going out of the way it just really makes me feel secure in myself to know that hey I did my midsection today hey I worked on my upper body today that makes me feel a lot more special it's like I'm valuing myself and when I value myself and put myself first in the respect of my health it helps me to put everything else in its proper place so Again, working on a specified area that you have not had time for. Just the fact of making time for your own self. It really makes you feel good inside. And when you feel good inside, you feel good when you interact with others. And you can make someone else's day really nice just by you taking the extra time to do that self-care. So, what well, the main way that we can start is with the skincare system. To know that we are specifically working on the first thing that people see when they look at us. So, as I've already stated, another thing we can do to spice up our life is to take the bubble bath that we've been putting off. And I'm talking to the choir now. I just love the smell of sweet smelling things in the bubble bath. Just knowing that I did bubble. So when I was growing up, I really did like Mr. Bubble. Like, he was my dude. And it was like every Friday, I was like, Mom, are we getting some Mr. Bubble? <laughs> so even now, as an adult, I allow myself to have a Mr. Bubble Bubble Bath to treat myself. And I'm telling you guys, it really just makes you 
look onto the week better my favorite day to bubble bath is on sunday that's my masking day so wednesday and sunday are my masking day and so that's something that i can do to just put the pelt back into myself to make me feel valued because if we do not value ourselves there's no way we can teach the world to value us so when you go on the shopping spree that is another wonderful feeling put, putting this on right here i'm telling you right after your shower when you got the water real hot you know ladies ladies we love to turn that heat up every pore in our body is wide open <laughs> so this foot and leg cream feels really great after that so again it really feels good to put ourselves first all the time every every day so another thing that we can do to keep it simple to make ourselves feel important is just wear a little lip gloss that we don't typically wear. Maybe try a new shade. So you guys in about a month, oh, my braces days will be over and I'll be crossing over to retain the town. And I'm very excited. So I will be trying out some colors. And this, you guys, is my, my actual natural lip color. I'm wearing clear. Okay. There's nothing. This is, I can't sell you the color that I'm wearing because it's just my own self. I don't know why it seems like there's a glare down here or something you guys every time i think i got this live in the control it's always something anyway so again we're talking about how can we spice ourselves up along with having the wonderful effects of the foot and leg cream now i got my head chopped off now so the left it alone Okay, now you can see my head. My big old head got to get in the screen. Okay, so we can make ourselves feel important by um, having a new eye color. So I believe everybody has their favorite eye colors. I definitely am like a pinkish person with a red undertone. Red is my favorite color, followed by pink. So try something different. So here's the thing. When we try something different, sometimes we are afraid we're going to mess up. And I would just say, try that new color. Try something natural colors. Like, I have a friend that loves that. So, I started adapting that when I want to try something new. And I really enjoyed it. Just knowing that I took the extra step to just put a little color on. I mean, there's days I'm really in a rush. I just wear one color. Typically, I like to blend three or four colors. So, today I'm wearing like four colors. But, um, you don't have to be extra like that. I'm just... I'm just extra. <laughs> if you ever get to know me in real life, I'm very extra at times. But doing a new blush, excuse me, having different colors. I'm a colorful person anyway. I really like colors, especially food. I like colorful food. It seems to me the more colors that are in my food, the more healthy it is. Seems that starches and processed food, the colors are very bland. So ways that we can make ourselves feel important is just um, a simple tinted moisturizer for those who don't wear makeup. Um, a tinted moisturizer will just help you to even your skin. So we have a little corrective coverage cream, which we call CC cream. That is something that you can put on really, really light coverage. If you have freckles that are natural, this product is really great on that because it will not hide and conceal your freckles. So I don't have freckles. I have like moles, okay, so I'm fine concealing them. <laughs> For those like myself, um, we need concealer and some liquid makeup. So liquid makeup for us that do have um, imperfections, the liquid makeup is like our CC cream. It has it actually is designed to have coverage. So a little CC cream for those with great skin, a little a little eye, eyelash, I mean, eye color, and a little blush. I mean, simply dashing out the door with your regular lip color. That's what I sport. So these things that make us feel important, when we take that extra step for ourselves, whether it is specifically choosing a lotion for a targeted area or doing a specific skincare routine that's specified to do something, I'm really excited to try the new product we have out with uh, 0.5% retinol and um, it is at the dermatology strength. I will come back and talk to you guys about that at another time. But I just wanted to finish encouraging everyone to do something positive for yourself. So that could be a bubble bath. It could be trying a new um, blush or 
a new uh, lip gloss. It could be taken. Uh, I think I said bubble bath. Oh, try a new bubble bath fragrance. That helps me because my nose is blind to my regular smell. So to go in the supermarket and specifically pick out a new color or to call your consultant and say you would like to jazz up your fragrant life. There's a new fragrance that we have. I will talk about that in a different video, but just wearing a different perfume than your normal or trying something new, that really just makes us stand out to ourselves. And when we do those nice little things, then nobody knows that we did that. Nobody knows, but it makes us feel good to know that we did that for ourselves. Here's another tip I want to tell you guys who are considering a little um, eyelash color or a different blush. One thing I do to make sure that I don't run late playing with makeup is that you can put your makeup in steps. Like I will do my um base first. And I will let that dry and then I may do the baking method, which I'll talk about at another time. But I might do lotion up my arm and leg and then go do the other step. I do my foundation set. I let it set first because I don't want to get my body lotion all mixed up with my face so everything that has to do with my brushes and stuff I, that's when i may do a lotion up something else but most importantly when my makeup is done before i put on my clothes i don't have to worry about spilling the makeup on my clothes and i don't have to worry about getting it on something when my face is totally done and then i start getting dressed we can always get dressed in a hurry like we know to put the right foot in the right leg of the pants we know to put the right foot in the right shoe and stuff like that so another thing i do when i'm putting on my makeup is that i listen to something positive very positive it's like a morning routine it's like when i'm putting on my makeup it's like a meditation time when i'm not being bothered like it, it extends my shower time when you're in the bathroom <laughs> that's the most privacy you can get in a day so i call it makeup therapy it's like i'm making myself feel good i look good that makes me feel confident um knowing that if i don't wear a full face of makeup and knowing that i have been taking care of my skin underneath so if i do get caught slipping <laughs> you won't see a catastrophe you know when i was not doing proper skincare i was trying to cover things up and now I realize that since I have been practicing proper skincare, there's really nothing to cover up. And my canvas is very smooth. There is no more lumpy bumps. It was like putting makeup on was like painting a speed bump. Okay. You know how like <laughs> the road is one tone and that speed bump is raised up. It's like I had these pimples that was like raised up and it was just, it was a mess. It was a mess. But God is a good God. He, he so is. Yes, sir. So we're talking about self-care. We're talking about how to energize our lives. How do we energize ourselves? How do we energize our mood? Music is important. Like we can listen to some good music and it can totally change our mood. It is the most healthy mood altering substance I can think of. And um, maybe some people can feel better with some coffee, but I tell you, I don't know how I feel about coffee. It's like a love-hate relationship, but right now I have not had coffee in over a month, probably, probably. Oh, I haven't had any caffeine since the last time I had them. I really like those um, frappes, but I can only have one because I'd be like, pew! <laughs> so lastly, what I'm going to share, I just shared that um, putting your makeup on before your clothes is a way to ensure that you won't run behind. And again, I personally wake up an extra 30 minutes to be sure that I'm not late. So like when I go to the gym, I get up an extra hour for those days. So just the extra self-care. And what it forces me to do is instead of staying up late doing Candy Crush for that hour, I just have to be more focused on my day, which is great because staying up a lot of hours and getting not getting much accomplished, that's, that's not what I want to do. So lastly, I'm going to leave you with this. Moisturizing yourself and exfoliating your skin. So exfoliation is removing the dead skin and our products do that. Um, our, our top layer that's dead, it does remove that 
which helps you to appear a shade lighter. And that's what our products do. A lot of us want to be having our best face forward and having a bright, bright, positive face is what we want to present to the world and the body. You know, um, my product is not all for the face. So putting lotion on or moisturizing your body daily, this is what happens. I don't know if you guys know this, but when you get used to moisturizing your body daily and you miss a day and your pants layer roll up, you won't have that <laughs> snow white wave, kind of like, you know, I don't want to say the word ashy, but that's pretty much what I'm trying to say. If you wear lotion daily and you skip a day, you won't get embarrassed. But what it's like the gym. So you might miss one day working out and it turned to two and it turned to three. So if you're really in a hurry, you can easily have some lotion that stays in your purse at all times or stays in your car if you're a man. And um, you can um, put that on when you get to the office if you're really in a rush. But it's just a thought. And um, I like to always keep lotion on me because sometimes I might can't get my hand on a perfume bottle, but I can get my hand on some scented lotion. And not only have I moisturized myself to be sure that there is no snow in July, <laughs> I can make sure that they have a nice, friendly, light fragrance at all times. So, you guys, that's about it. Let's just make sure we don't have dry energized, uh, dry attitudes. We spoke about that yesterday. And then at the end of a nice, long day, this is a wonderful lotion. This is the Mint Bliss Energizing Leg and Foot Cream. And, again, the key ingredients in this particular item are rosemary, willow, Rutella extract and glycerin. So those are the main ingredients. And again, what this does is that it has a mint filling. It has a very cooling sensation. It helps the feet and leg feel relieved. Um, and it also um, has free radicals in there. Make sure that, just make sure that you're clean and moisturizing. It's just a really good treat to give your leg stimulation. Again, so that is what I have for you tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, I have really got to figure out how to get this clock time thing up here because I don't know how long I've been talking and that's no good. But I hope you guys are enjoying this. You know, again, be more buoyant, turning dreams into destinations, one face, one body, one hard time at a time. And I am not just concerned with your skin and what your face looks like. I want your body to be good too because once I finish assisting you, with making sure you're putting your best fa your best face forward. I want to make sure your body is toned and tightened too. So um everyone, if you don't know, I do have a um weight and weight uh, health and fitness group. I have a group for uplifting. I have a group for motivation. So if you want to be involved in some of these positive community events because these are groups and it's not just me um just shoot me a message, an inbox, or shoot a message below that you want to know more information about my other positive groups. If you look down below at the bottom of my business page, you should see some links to some of those groups. So you guys just knock yourself out. And the days that I don't go live, definitely feel free to look at some of my videos because I always like to leave a positive life event in my video to mix in with the skincare. So until next time, you guys, be safe. Talk to you later.